For pet owners, the joys of having an extended family can be great, but when you bring home that new pet, you may need a little help in the training department. So today we've got you covered as we bring in the experts from Sit Means Sit Dog Training to help meet owners Mike and Paige Wheeler. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank, thank you. you very much. And thank you for bringing Gage. So this is a fun segment, but we got a lot to talk about. What does Sit Means Sit really do? Um, well, we work with uh, pet owners and their dogs uh, to establish a a better relationship so that way um, they can live life to the fullest. Yeah, I think that's important. It can be really tough when you've got a dog at home that is not well trained and, and maybe struggling. Let's talk a little bit about what got you started in dog training. How did this come to be? Well, when I was getting out of the Army in Texas, I, um, I found that I was just really naturally very talented and gifted with dogs. Um, so I started up uh, a dog training company there and um, it just blossomed into a a beautiful and wonderful business. Isn't that nice? You recognized your talent and you're able to share that with others. And what do you think for folks who are watching who might be thinking maybe this is something I should be considering for my pet is maybe a good age to get started in dog training? Well we train any dog, any age, any problem. Um, it's really going to be a matter of um, getting training as soon as you really get the dog. Uh, we want to establish the proper relationship as well as getting um, the dogs to where they need to be and, and fitting into the lifestyle of the family. Yeah, absolutely. That's a very good point because so many families are different and have different lifestyles. You want to mm -hmm. take that into consideration when you are training a dog. Let's talk a little bit about what that looks like for the dog. Uh, does training possibly change their personality? Training does not change their personality, um, but it does change behaviors. So we can shape and mold the behaviors to what is desirable in our in our home, in our lifestyle. Absolutely. So let's discuss a little bit about advanced training. So if you have a pet at home that maybe is trained enough to have integrated into the family, into the lifestyle, what about something like for a therapy dog as an example or other types of training? Yeah, absolutely. Um, all of, or not all of, most of our trainers are um, AKC evaluators so they can evaluate the canine good citizen test. Um, they can do the AKC star puppy as well. Um, and we also have a therapy dog team. So they're called the Go Team Therapy Dogs. We go out and we volunteer a lot. Um, and it's a really great way to give back. That is a wonderful way to give back. And I've heard wonderful things about the effects of therapy dogs and, mm -hmm. and how incredible that can be for different folks. Paige <laughs> is so excited to be on TV, <laughs> or Gage rather. Yeah. You're so sweet. So um, let's talk a little bit about starting and training. So if we have some viewers at home that wishes their dog were this well trained, uh, I think I know of a few that, that could use some training. What's a good first step to get started? Um, really the first step is to contact us, um, call our office, get set up with a free consultation um, so that way you can meet with um, our training consultant and you know, figure out what your goals are for training, what you really want to get out of it, and then we can work together to build a program that works best to meet those goals. That's really helpful. Are you taking new clients currently? Absolutely. Yes. Always. All right. So all those folks out there that may need a little bit of help in the training department, we've got you covered today on Talk Wisconsin. Paige and Mike, thank you very much for being here. Thank, thank you. you. And Gage, you as well. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. We've got more Talk Wisconsin coming up on the other side of this break.